Hey everyone, it's Megan with Alder and Nance, and today I am working on the Maryland jeans by Gertie over at Charm Patterns. I wanted to make this as a pair of capris for the summer because I don't really like wearing shorts anymore, but I do like capris and I wanted something in a lightweight cotton. So my first pair that I made was this pair and they ended up being too big, baggy in the butt. I had some issues with the crotch. So I went ahead and made another pair, but my final pair that I'm going to be making will be this fabric again with this red fabric on the inside. So my second pair that I made, I went ahead and made some adjustments. I went ahead and reprinted the pattern in a size 10 and I graded out the waist to a size 16. And there were some issues with me doing it that way, but the hips on this one is too small now. So I am going to go from my waist and gradually bring it out to about three eighths of an inch seam allowance down by the hips and down all the way to the leg. Because I am making the Capri version uh, with the final version will actually have the contrasting cuff but this pair I can wear it is a little tight and I have to be careful the way I sit so I did that I did a crotch adjustment to a full belly adjustment on this and I also did a back crotch adjustment um, along with going ahead and lowering the rise just a little bit because this comes up a little bit above my actual waistline. So I did want to go ahead and lower it just a little bit. I don't want to look like Urkel. I will show you a couple of pictures of Gertie in her pair that I found on Instagram. And this is not a Patreon pattern. This is a pattern that you have to purchase, but since I am part of Gertie's top tier, I do get a coupon about three or four times a year, I think maybe not even that, maybe twice a year, I get a coupon to actually go onto Gertie's website and purchase a pattern on there free of charge, along with all of the patterns I get through her Patreon. So I will make sure that I link down below to her Patreon and also to her website so you can go and pick up this pattern because I do like the pattern. I will probably make another pair in a stretchier fabric than the one that I have now later on down the road without really changing the seam allowance on it because with the stretchier fabric it should ease over my hips a little bit easier and I won't have the issue of it being too tight with a, sh with a fabric that has just a little bit of stretch even. Um, so I am doing that pair, so let's go ahead and jump over and I can show you the process of me making this pattern. Okay, so I am an idiot and I have completely forgotten to record anything of the cutting and getting the pattern ready and how I actually went and graded down the side seams and everything of this one. To go from a size 16 to between a 10 12 in the hip so a 16 waist 10 12 hip and grading down i don't want bagginess in the hips or in the butt area so needed to grade that down but you can see that i am using this fabric with a contrast of this so Tomorrow I am going to go through and serge all of the seams that Gertie with Charm Patterns has told us to serge and I'll start working on the pockets and figuring out if I, because of the print of these, I don't know if I want to do a design or if I just want to leave them kind of plain, but I'll figure that out tomorrow after I get those ironed and pressed and surged and everything done then. All right, thanks. Okay, so I have done my back pockets with my red stitching. I found out that I should have actually had this come down just a little bit further, I don't mind, because 
it does have a little bit of a flap. I might end up using a uh, two-sided adhesive there to glue that down. I'm not real sure yet. We'll see where I go. All right, I'll see you whenever I start the next part. Okay, so this had to have been the most confusing part of what I was doing. I drew a line, added my interfacing with the wrong side to the right side of the fabric, sewed it down, and then I switched it over and then interfaced it down. There's no top stitching and this is to stabilize the edges for the zipper. I've never seen that done before so it's a neat finishing technique. I kind of like it. Okay, since I am now trying to install the zipper into the pocket area, I have gone ahead and used a little bit of the double-sided adhesive tape to make sure I am lying my zipper directly on here how I want it to be. Okay, so I have my zipper installed into the pocket area along with the guard. And... It looks really good. I am about to go in and remove my basting stitches from right here along that. I wish I had done a little bit smaller of a opening for the zipper, but hold on. As you can see, it's got quite a bit of an opening around the zipper. I wish it had just been a little bit smaller, but it is what it is, and this is my zipper for my new pair of pants I'm making. Okay, sorry, I have not actually done any real filming with this, and make sure you walk your seams. The bottom of this, I had to go in and actually cut out to make sure that they were even, and I had to cut a little bit of the crotch here to make sure it was also even as I did not pay attention and walk my seams. So make sure you always go and walk your seams whenever you do pattern alterations. I have one side of my caprice finished and I love how I was able to go in and taper down the hip because I do not have hips. I don't have hips at all. So adding or going in and because I have a wider waist than hip, I went in and graded down my seam and just remember always walk your seams the pockets have come out really good and my back pocket is also i'm starting to wish i had actually gone in and done this pocket with my red fabric instead of using this fabric because you really lose this patch pocket on the back or even done the V and the red. I'm not sure. We'll see how it goes. Uh, the red really matches the red within these flowers. And I'm able to wear either red, browns, or blues with this. So I'm actually really excited about what all I can wear with this. All right, guys, I'll see you at my next update.
Okay, so I am currently reading the custom duet trouser for custom fit and on my mock-up wearable mock-up that I made I have some of these drag lines that are going across so I am going to go in and make this just a little bit shallower because it's not that bad but I think just adding a little bit of extra fabric right here will help and I'll be back here in just a minute after I add that to show you what I'm doing to the rest of the pants so this is where I am going to draw my line and it's kind of hard to do this one-handed. So as you can see, I've drawn that and it looks like I'm going to have right at a quarter of an inch, a little bit less than a quarter of an inch on it. Okay, so another thing that I thought I was going to need to do was fix this in the back but after I put the waistband on to the jeans it's no longer pulling down so I think it was that whenever I tried it on without the waistband the center back was pulling down really far now it sits really nicely so I'm not going to need to do that so let's see what else I need to do okay so I am looking at this and I do have these horizontal lines underneath my butt but I don't have a wedgie, so I think just adding, or sorry, taking away from that kind of towards the bottom will help. So let's do that real quick. Okay, so kind of taking this for this, and I've just kind of scooped out a little bit. I might not have done that right. Let's actually redo that. Okay, I actually went in and freehanded this just to add a little bit right here or well I'm taking away fabric for this I don't really make that much sense oh okay so I'm actually gonna do this again this says to sew it directly into the muslin and just sew it a little bit deeper right there at the crotch curve so that's what I'm going to do I'm just gonna try and see if that will help okay so that helps some so I'm just going to take about a quarter inch all the way out all the way through there so I only did about a quarter of an inch so I went in and took out about a quarter of an inch all the way around and just deepened that just slightly and on the next one, when I get to the hip area, right through here, I am actually going to go ahead and just swoop down to a half an inch instead of five eighths of an inch down through there. I've already fixed the length on them. I don't think I need, no, I don't need to fix any more of the length because I didn't add any length, I don't think because both of the crotch adjustments were done in the crotch seam, not along the side seams or anything. So I don't think I need to do anything there. Okay, that's gonna be it for now. I am waiting for my other fabric to finish drying and I'll start working on the final pair. Okay, so I really looked at the pattern and I decided that on the front I did need a little bit of a full tummy adjustment. So I did open it up a little bit here and that opened it up a little bit here. So it did add a little bit of width this way and just open it up just a little bit there. That way I have a little bit more room for my belly. All right.
this time I'm not going to show you everything that I've done, but I have gone ahead and searched all of these items except for the pants pocket that needs to be interfaced and then all that. But I have gone ahead and searched everything except for this and for the edge of that pocket. And I went ahead and I have this already ready to go so I can go ahead and top stitch this one. Um, I'm not going to show everything with this third pair that I am making. I don't think that would be beneficial to you. And I'm just going to speed through making this final pair because I've already shown you most of everything that you have to do in order to make this. Okay, so you see, I have my pair of Maryland jeans actually finished now, and I have paired it with a Barbie top that is actually a little bit too big for me. I made it about a year ago, right after she released the Barbie top. So it is too big for me, so I went ahead and just used a hair tie, rubbed it up, and then tucked it in to make a little bit of a crop top, which I never wear. I never wear crop tops. But this is kind of cute. It's high-waisted. You don't see my stretch marks as much. Yes, I am fat. I own it. I am fat. That's why I like sewing for my body. So I can make clothes fit me, not me fit the clothes. So, as you see, I do have the, what is it called? The cuff on these are in a contrasting color along with the pockets. So I did want to go ahead and do that. I was planning on going out and actually doing a little photo shoot style vlog type thing somewhere, but I just don't have the time. I need to get this video edited and out saying, this is my third pair. I've made three pairs of these pants and it is time to just get it done and over with. So this is what you get is these. I love them. I feel like I look like I came out of the 80s with these pants. I swear I had a couch that looked just like this at one point. So it's really cute and ignore my coffee stain. I already got a coffee stain on it apparently. Oops. So let me know what you think of the Maryland jeans. I love them. And they fit really well. Am I going to be able to sit down on the ground in these? No, not that easily. I need to get some fabrics that has a little bit of stretch, a little bit more give than these. But I do have a little extra room right here and it is a busy pattern. So, all right guys, y'all have a wonderful weekend and I will see you guys next week. Oh. I just want to let everyone know that I did go ahead and start my own Patreon account and I have one tier at this time. I do plan on expanding here in the future, but my first tier is early access where I release all of my videos on there first, 24 hours before I release it over on YouTube. So my new schedule is Friday evenings, I will release it to my Patreon. And on Saturday evening, I will go ahead and release it to everyone here on YouTube. Now, it is only $1.50 for my first tier. I am uploading behind the scenes, little snippets and things like that for my $1.50 tier. In the future, I do plan on expanding and I will always let you know whenever I do that. All right, guys.